It might be a glitch, but it might be one of them ID10T errors. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the glitch transition effect in PowerDirector 17. If you're gonna use this effect in one of your upcoming videos, I want you to put hashtag glitchy up in here in the comment section below. Here we are in PowerDirector 17. The glitch effect is a cool way to transition from clip to clip. Now that you've seen the demo, let's get glitchy up in here. As you can see, there are two clips in the timeline. There is one static glitch clip in the media library. So I got my clips and sound effects from Digital Juice. You can search YouTube or you can Google to find static glitch clips and sound effects for free or ones that you can buy. It's really up to you. The first thing that you want to do is drag the glitch clip to track two. So I'm going to left click on this and drag it down to track two. This clip is too long. You should only want it to be around a second or however long you want your transition to be. So in order to change the duration of the glitch effect and keep the entire glitch in there, you need to change the speed. So to change the speed of this clip, you want to left click on it to make sure that it's selected. Then you want to place your cursor at the end until you see two arrows pointing in both directions. Then you want to hold down your control key on your keyboard until you see a little red dot pop up. Hold down your left mouse and drag it over. Now, in the little white box beneath, you'll see the duration at the bottom. You want your duration to be around a second, and if you want a longer transition, you can do longer. It's really up to you. So let's move this to one second. And then we're gonna let go of the control key, and you're gonna let go of your left mouse. Now, the next thing you wanna do is make sure that the glitch clip is centered over the intersection of the two clips above it. You can just drag it if you want to and eyeball it. Make sure you got it in the middle. That looks pretty centered to me. Or you can be much more precise by placing your playhead right at the beginning of the second clip. So I'm just going to click on the second clip. And when you click on the second clip, your playhead will go right to the beginning of it. And then if you click on the glitch clip, then you will see exactly the point where the playhead is at. And the playhead is at 11 frames. Since this timeline that I'm using is 24 frames per second, then it should be at 12 frames. 12 frames would be the middle of this clip. So you need to go ahead and left click it and drag it over like one frame. Now it says 12, so you know that it is in the middle of this clip and since it's aligned with the playhead and the playhead is right between these two, you know it's centered. So you're good to go there. Now, if you play back this right now, you'll see that it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like a good glitch effect. It just shows the glitch, but this clip just plays over the top of the other two. So let's play this back and look at that. That's ugly. So you need to fix that. But before I show you how to fix that, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Now, back to the breathtaking tutorial. To fix this glitch clip, you want to left click on the glitch clip. You want to go to tools, power tools, blending mode. Then you want to make sure that you click on the box next to blending mode. And then you want to choose your blending mode. There are multiple blending modes to choose. For this tutorial, you should choose difference because it looks really good with this one. But you can always play around with the different blend modes to find the one that works best for you. So now you want to close this out. And when you play this back now,
that look alike a glitch, okay? That look alike a glitch. What you want to do next is drag down any clips that you want to use as sound effects. So let's drag this one down to track three. And what's important at this point is you want to make sure that the sound effect starts when the glitch starts. So you can use your next frame buttons to move to where you start to see the effect. And that looks good there. So then you can left click on the sound effect and drag it to the playhead. So now that should start exactly where that starts at. And then if you want to add any additional sound effects, let, let's say let's add this one here. You want to move your playhead to the end of the glitch. Because that second one's kind of long. Eh, looks pretty good there. So I'm going to left click on the clip to make sure that it's selected. And then split the selected clip. And you can move that off the end by just clicking on delete. No need to do that with this clip here because it's really, it ends really fast. I already know what it sounds like. And then when you play it back, you should see a beautiful glitch. Glitchy up in here. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll have some links in the video description that you can use. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.